at it again we have to talk about judge ingeron who recently ruled against uncle trump and ordered him to pay i don't know half a billion dollars uh it's like 300 and something million but you know there's interest added on to that daily um so yeah we've got to dive into that because um james o'keefe yeah you guys remember o'keefe mr o'keefe um he recently did a little something that uh was quite funny like share comment and hit that subscribe button if you are new and let's dive in multiple sources reached out to us about arthur engeron the judge in manhattan who fined trump 354 million dollars in damages barring him from running businesses in new york city for three years which is just absolutely ridiculous that type of fine let, let, let's say Trump did do something wrong. $354 million worth of wrong? Absolutely insane. I agree with the uh, guy yesterday. Uh, this, tr this trial would have had a lot more credibility. It would have been a lot more believable if the fine was like $10 million. You know? Who knows? Maybe a lot of folks would have just been like, oh, okay, yeah, Trump did something wrong. But three hundred and fifty-four, dollars Absolutely ridiculous. One source even sent us a video saying that Arthur Engeron creeps girls out in an Equinox gym in Long Island. At the end of the clip, the woman is visibly annoyed by the judge and tells him to back off, gesturing with her hands. Other sources confirmed the Equinox he works out in at 5 a.m. is in Great Neck, New York, so we decided to work out alongside him. I'm a huge fan. Huge fan. Thank you for what you did. For what? <laughs> Man, I must have felt good. Oh, shit. Uh, making these modern people out of the state. Just thank you. I'm about my heart. Thank you. What's your day job? I was wearing the OMG t shirt, which said O'Keefe Media Group, but the judge didn't know who I was. My day job? I work in publishing. I print, I print uh, magazines. Yeah. But I really need a lot to hear here. Yeah, he's on that. Yeah. John? Yeah. Here you go, my man. So keep it up. Thank, thank you. What's your name? Uh, Jim. Jim. Keep it up. Keep up the good work. Welcome to the limit. Um, hold on. I, I think there's more to this, but I don't want to play the music. On the Palisades Parkway, coming back from the uh, Judge Arthur and Goran uh, sting. Yeah, it was definitely spiritually a very dark place inside there. A lot of people looking at me. A lot of eyes wandering, right? Yes. So, there was a guy that actually came up and was a fan of me. And I thought he may have been pretending to be a fan, but he actually was a fan, but I was trying to play it low key. He talked to the judge, worked out next to him. He told me that he was strong. Well, he doesn't look very strong, he's very scrawny. And he told me that he was getting a lot of hate, a lot of hate, a lot of hate mail. I told him I'm a huge fan. Don't let the bastard get you down. And what a perfect, what a perfect metaphor a perfect allegory here. Look at this. Looks like a scene out of Sleepy Hollow. Look at this fog. It looks like we're leaving Dante's Inferno here in the suburbs of New York City. Look at that fog. Look at the sky. The foggy abyss. If you're on the inside and you have more information about this judge or any judge or anything that the you know, I think it would be kind of fun to, you know, go undercover with uh, O'Keefe, you know? That, that'd be pretty fun. <laughs> I'm a huge fan. Thank you for what you did. <laughs> and the fact that James O'Keefe is still able, able to go undercover is honestly incredible as well.
You know, like these folks haven't figured out who O'Keefe is. Oh, man. Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. Wow. Um, but, you know, that's what we expect from a blue state like that, you know, at, at, at this point in time. And it's unfortunate because there, I'm sure there are great people that live in the state of New York, but New York is finished. New York is cooked. When you have rulings like this, it's it's done. It's over with. And you don't even have to take it from me. No matter what the governor says, New York was already a loser state. Like California is a loser state. There are many loser states because of policy, high taxes, uncompetitive regulation. It was already on the top of the list of being a loser state. I would never invest in New York now. And I'm not the only person saying that. And here's a real time situation. In development in real estate right now, the hottest asset class is very high end data centers. They cost anywhere from two and a half to three and a half billion each. They're very expensive. They require low power. You need permits. But most of the major institutions in the world need more data centers. And that's why developers like me are doing this. Now, you need power. So New York has Niagara Falls. Normally, you'd consider that to put in one of these facilities, create 400 jobs, five more jobs for each of one of those for auxiliary services. I can't go to New York. So I'm going to Oklahoma, North Dakota, West Virginia. Governor Stitt, Kevin Stitt, my staff have met with him. Governor Bergen, the same thing. Governor Justice, those are winner states. They don't do things like this. I have to syndicate that debt and all that equity. We're talking billions of dollars here. Do you think any foreign institution or any private equity firm or any pension fund would touch New York? No. And that So you don't even have to take it from me. Um you can listen to Mr. Wonderful there. <laughs> and obviously, we uh, checked out the clip of John uh, Lanscale, if I remember his name correctly. Uh, he's a co-owner of Palantir. Uh, very wealthy gentleman. But even he was like, yeah, um, this is this is terrible. This is terrible. And I have, you know, other, you know, business friends who make large investments in different companies and businesses and things like that that don't even like Trump but are all saying this this is this is bogus this is crazy um so when you have everyone in agreement that you know something is crazy and political even from folks that don't even like the guy allegedly right i say allegedly because i feel like a lot of these folks actually do like Trump they're just saying it to Stay in the establishment's good graces. But when you have these folks coming out and, and publicly saying this type of stuff, you you got some major issues. So, um, yeah, New York is going to be on the downslide. And then, of course, when you have, you know, a prosecutor like Letitia James who blatantly lies and we have it on videotape, which I'll play here just for, you know, remembrance purposes. The president of the United States has complained that I'm engaging in some sort of political witch hunt, that I've got some personal vendetta against him, that I campaigned against him. That is not true. This illegitimate no president who sits in the White House. That president, because he's not my president, he's an illegitimate president. His days are numbered. His days are numbered. Yeah. We've got to get ready to mobilize, and we've got to get ready to agitate and irritate until victory is won, but more importantly, until Trump is defeated. We will all rise up and resist this man. And ultimately, we'll bring him down. This illegitimate president, I'm going to give you the same level of respect that you gave to President Obama, and that is absolutely no respect at all. Donald Trump has got to go, hey, hey. The president of the United States has complained that I'm engaging in some sort of political witch hunt, that I've got some personal vendetta against him, that I campaigned against him. That, that is not true. Not true, huh? <laughs> okay. Okay. We got you on tape. We got you on tape. 
Smile big for us now. Smile big. <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah, Judge Ingron played by James O'Keefe. Incredible how that stuff still happens. It really is. It really is. But, as always, y'all let me know what you thought about this one in the comment section below. Like, share, comment. Hit that subscribe button before you go. Peace and love. I'm out.